On uh, May the 24th, 2011, I was sitting at the keyboard with one of my, my one-year-old grandson. He was playing and I was playing and he pushed one of those rhythm buttons on the keyboard so I began playing a melody to fit with the rhythm. I told my grandson that I would write a song about him and then the Lord brought to mind this passage about how we need to come to him with the humility and faith of a child if we want to enter the kingdom of heaven. So this is not just speaking about literal children, but it is speaking about those who come to the Lord with that childlike faith. And these are the ones, if we welcome them, we welcome the Lord Jesus. Yet if we lead one of Jesus' followers who have come to him in humility with a childlike faith to sin against God, then we are in serious trouble with God, because he is very protective of those who are his. As well, he does not want any of us to be led into sin. So he asks us to examine our hearts and lives to see what might be leading us to sin. And we are to rid ourselves of those things that are causing us to stumble, so that we can walk in childlike faith and obedience to our Lord Jesus Christ. Matthew 18, 1-9 says, At that time the disciples came to Jesus and asked, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called a little child and had him stand among them, and he said, I tell you the truth, unless you change and become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Therefore, therefore, whoever humbles himself like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven, and whoever welcomes a little child like this in my name welcomes me. But if anyone causes one of these little ones who believe in me to sin, it would be better for him to have a large millstone hung around his neck and to be drowned in the depths of the sea. Wow! Woe to the world because of the things that cause people to sin. Such things must not must come, but woe to the man through whom they come. If your hand or your foot causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to enter life maimed or crippled than to have two hands or two feet and be thrown into eternal fire. And if your eye causes you to sin, gouge it out and throw it away. It is better for you to enter life with one eye than to have two eyes and be thrown into the fire of hell.